Well, hey there, YouTube. Today, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to test this uh, custom built 1x4. Um, it can be ran just as a 4 pill, it's staged, so you can run it as a 1x4 or a 4 pill. We're going to test this over the air on the antenna to see what kind of wattage it does in the 4 pill section. And I'm going to be testing it against this straight four pill here. Um, this doesn't have a driver, this is just a straight four pill. And I'm curious to test them both over the antenna, the base antenna, to see what they do. Because when I put them on the dummy load, um, I get similar results be between the both of them, but when I put them in my mobile, I see more output out of this one versus this one, but the way this one's built, it sounds much cleaner. So I'm curious as to how they're going to perform on the base antenna. So that's what we'll do in a minute. Okay, so we're ready. I'm going to use the Galaxy 959, the same radio I always use here. And uh, we're going to start with the RF power all the way down and we'll adjust it as we need it. And um, I have both of these hooked up. And I just have them running over there to my power meter going out to the antenna. So this here is not even hooked up. Go ahead and turn this on. It has a delay in the fan. So this is the four pill. This is the one by four. So we're gonna run it in the four pill. It is loud, but it needs to be loud to keep this little cabinet cool. So, I'm going to go over here, see what this is doing. I'll put it in the 300 watt, and I basically want to see a 100 watt dead key. So I can see that from where I'm at, then I'll take you over there and I'll show it to you. I'm going to turn the mic gain all the way down because of that fan. Okay. Gotta keep going up till I see about a hundred watts. Let me go check that and I'll be back. Okay, I wanted to see a hundred watt dead key, but um I guess we're not going to get it. There's a about a 50 50 watt dead key. So we're just going to run both amps there. Okay, so the amp is on in the four pill position. And in my truck, I see about 500 watts out of this one. We're on the 3,000 watt scale. Hello. Hello. Uh. 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 Seeing about 325 on the base antenna. So that's interesting. We'll switch over to the other amp. Okay, so I want to be 100% fair. This amp's on. Mic gain is off. We're back over here on the 300 watt scale. Same dead key as the other amp. Just a tad a bit above 50. So stand by. Okay, we're on the 3000 watt scale and I have not keyed up. You're going to see it just as I do. I'm going to see what this thing does. Oh wait, I have to turn the mic gain up. I'm going to put the mic gain just where it was on the other one. Which was right there. Hello, audio. Hello. Hello. Ah. Uh, hello. 
Isn't that interesting? They both do the same exact power over my antenna, which isn't very much. I was not expecting to see this at all. So now what I'll do is I'm going to hook both of these up on the dummy load. And I'm sure the numbers are just going to spike like crazy. So I've tuned my antenna with the MFJ antenna analyzer with the SWR meter. Um, I really can't get it any better. It's a um, high gain uh, SPT 500, you know, the, the penetrator. So my my big 2x8 over there, it's probably not making as much power as it should either on the antenna. Who knows? In the mobile, this one was making around 350. This one was making around 500. You bring them inside, over the antenna, they both make the exact same, which is 325. Now we're going to go to the dummy load. Stand by. Okay, now we're hooked up to the dummy load. We're going to leave this one on because it was just easier. It was sitting here and hooked up. And I'm curious to see if it's still going to make just above 50 watts on the dummy load versus what it did on the antenna because I haven't touched anything here. We'll go ahead and turn the RF gain down. Oh, you know what? I should have been... It was the mic gain. I was doing the wrong one. Anyway, go ahead and turn the mic gain down so we don't get any noise. Go ahead and flip this on. Let's we'll see if we make that same numbers. So we're on the 250 scale. Shows we're making about 80 now on the dummy load versus about 52 over there on the antenna. Let's put it on the 1000 watt scale and see what it does. Hello. Oh, I turned the mic gain up. Hello. Audio. Hello. Hello. Audio. Audio. Uh, uh. So it depends how close I get into the mic. Let's get right in the mic and see what it does. We're on the thousand watt scale. Uh, That's right in the mic. Here's normal talking. Hello audio. Hello audio. One, two, three, four, five. Hello audio. Hello audio. One, two, three, four, five. Here it is right in the mic. Hello. Hello. So you see what it's doing on a 50 ohm dummy load. Now let's hook this one up and we'll go ahead and do the same like uh, 80 watt dead key and see what it does. Stand by. Okay, mic gain's off. We're going to go ahead and turn this one on in the 4 pill position. 250 watt scale. And we're going to try to get that 80 watts out. I'm going to run the dead key up. Okay, now I'm going to turn the mic gain up and we're going to see what kind of power this one makes. Put it on the 1000 watt scale. Very curious to see here. This is in the 4 pill position. Uh, 
Okay, that's right in the microphone. Now I'll talk normal. Hello audio, hello audio. One, two, three, four, five. Hello audio, hello audio. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, come in. Hello. Hello. So very similar numbers. And these things are making noise because they're only on a 50 amp supply. They're probably struggling. But similar numbers from both of the amps. Strange. Now just for the hell of it, let's throw this one in the 1x4. This has nothing to do with the comparison. And uh, let's turn this RF power all the way down. From the mic game down. We'll see if we can get like a 100 watt dead key here. Well, we'll just shoot for the same like 80 watt. Let me, let me go to the 250 scale here. Let's run that up a little bit. Eh, let's just run up there. That looks about the same, pretty close. We'll go to the thousand watt. We'll see what it does in the one by four position. Go ahead and open the light game back up. Hello. Uh. You can hear it, it's really struggling on the 50 amp supply. But, uh, uh, hello, hello. Yeah, she's making almost 1kW. Um, PEP. So I have no doubt if this is on like 100 amp supply, it would, it would do it solidly. <laughs> I just don't want to push my supply and pop the internal fuse again. All right, so what does everyone learn from this? What have I learned from this? Um, I guess even though your MFJ 870, no, MFJ 259B says that your antenna is tuned correctly and your SWR meter's happy as well. Um, you cannot be making as much watts as you'll see on the dummy load. As you can clearly see, the dummy load shows way more wattage than my base antenna or my uh, mobile antenna. But in the mobile environment, this amp makes more power versus the other amp. You bring them inside on the antenna, they both make the same exact power. You put them on the dummy load, you know, they're pretty similar. This one might squeak out a tiny bit more, but they're pretty similar. So, I get, you know, your antenna system has a hell of a lot to do with it. And also the radio you're driving it with. Because this Galaxy, you can turn it way down low to like, you know, three quarter of a watt. And it'll still make 35 on the top end. Whereas the Striker, if you turn that radio down to three quarter of a watt, it's going to struggle to get to that 35 watts on the top end. It'd be more like, eh, 25, maybe 30 if you're really hollering in it. So the striker definitely likes, it's, it's happier around that 2 watt mark, so it can, it can make that upper power. So for the other amplifier, we're going to put some padding in that so we can run the striker a little bit higher. And then we can probably see the some same numbers we saw out of this in the mobile. But anyways, there's you know something to think about. When you see the numbers on the dummy load, um, it might make those same numbers on an antenna. It might not. You just saw it here, live for yourself. So this is a perfect you know 50 ohm environment, whereas 
a lot of things can change over an antenna. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. All right, have a good day.